All right, guys, I want to touch on what is a refeed. I get this question all the time when people see that I like to use carb cycling when I'm dieting to get in peak shape. Um, they want to know what a, what a refeed is, what the purpose of it is, and how often it should be done. So let's touch on these things quickly for you. Basically, a refeed is used because the body starts to adapt when you're dieting, when you're in a calorie deficit. So let's say, for instance, we have somebody that is dieting on 2,500 calories every day. What this person will want to do to determine how much they should use on a refeed is they're going to take that 2,500 calories, multiply it by 7, which is for the amount of days in a week, which will give us 17,500 calories. At that point, we take the 17,500 calories and we, we times that by 4%, so 0.04%, and then that's going to give us 700 additional calories to use on a refeed. Now, what you want to do from there is divide that by four because each gram of carbs is four calories. So 700 divided by four is 175 grams of additional carbs that we're going to want to use on our refeed. What these carbs actually do, they have a specific purpose on a refeed. It's not just doing it, having a cheat meal. The carbs will actually spike uh, hormone levels such as leptin, which regulate fat loss in the body. So by throwing these carbs in, the elevated carbs for one day, it's going to speed up the fat loss process. Now the, to determine how often you should be doing it, you really don't need to carb cycle at all unless you're below 12%. Um, the lower you get, you can actually do them more often. So if you're at 12%, you're going to be on the low end of say every 7 to 9 days. And once you get under 10%, it could be every 5, 6 days. And then when you get down to those real low numbers like 5, 4%, you could be 2 or 3 times a week that you could be doing that. So that's my answer. That's the quickest way to get in shape is with carb cycling.